everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about the VS Code extension. So we all know that VS Code is nothing without extensions. So let's see how we can open that. So I am on my VS Code and you can go to view, click on extensions and you will see that a panel open on the left hand side which is reflecting all the extensions which are installed on my machine. And you can also search for the new extension using this search bar. Now, it has extensions for anything. You, if you are searching for a color theme, a color, or if you want to change a theme of your editor, you want language intelligence support, whether it is your debugging, connecting to Git, or even fetching details from the Azure. So for each and everything, you will find some extensions in this particular panel. So when it is about extensions, then it is obvious that a developer using VS Code as a primary development environment may have close to 30 or at least 40 extensions installed. So if you will look at uh, my computer, you can see that I have around 47 extensions installed on my machine. And most of the extensions are very popular and keep getting updates. Now, what if there was a bug in an extension and due, or due to some reason it is reflecting some abnormal behavior? In that case, that one extension can bring our entire VS Code down. It can, like, it can crash your system itself. So, how to figure out those? So, th basically, what I'm trying to say is, there are high chances that uh, out of this huge list, few of them could be the bad extensions which can produce unwanted behavior. So in this video, I will explain how can we troubleshoot such extensions. So there are two different ways to deal with this. First one is you can go to each and every extension which are installed on your machine, click on that and just disable them. Once disabled, you can just verify whether your system is back to normal or not. If your system is back to normal, it means this was the extension which was the culprit. Now let's say, after disabling this particular extension, still your system is not doing well. It is still in the same shape. It means this was not the culprit which, which was performing all those malfunctioning. It means you need to go ahead and again enable it. So this activity, you have to do it for all the extensions which are installed on your machine. So if it is three or four extension, it is still doable. But when it comes to 30, 40, 50 or 60 extensions, it is not actually possible to do it because it's kind of a very tedious task now second option is we should look for some automated option which can perform this activity for us disable the extension verify whether the system is back to normal and enable it back if the extension is not the culprit now when it comes to automation either we have to write our own tool Otherwise, we have an option to use another extension in VS Code. And that another extension which I'm going to introduce today is Bisect. So this is the extension which can rescue us from this. So in, rather than doing everything manually, we can just ask this particular extension to do this for us. So if you'll click on this, you can see that at the title that this extension is annoying. And definitely this is annoying, so you should not do like every one hour or two hour, it should be used only on the need basis. And let me tell you how this actually works. So what this bisect extension does is, let's say you have around, uh, let's say you have 20 extensions installed on your machine. So it will go ahead and divide your 20 extension into two different parts. So it will create two different parts, 10 and 10. Now what it will do is it will go ahead and disable one portion. So let's say it disable this particular thing. Then it will prompt the user that is your system normal now? Is it back to uh, like behavior acceptable? If you are saying that, okay, my system behavior is acceptable. It means there was culprit in this particular uh, list. And if you are saying that no, my system is not up to the market is still in the same shape, it means it need to work on this particular set. Now let's say uh, you decide uh, user mentioned that okay, my system is back to normal. Now it will again go ahead and say, divide this particular into again two parts. So five extensions and five extensions. So this five again, it will go ahead and disable it. Again, it will prompt the user whether uh, system is back to normal or not. If it is saying that, okay, system is back to normal, then it will go ahead and again, it will divide into two parts. So it will keep doing until it gets the single extension, which can be announced as the culprit one. And that's the reason we are saying that this particular 
thing can be done in log n because looking at the algorithm is a binary search algorithm so let me quickly move on to vs code again and here you need to go to view command palette and select and type bisect click on this one and you can see that it is showing some dialog and let me quickly read it so bisect will use binary search to find an extension that causes a problem and during this entire process it will show you some prompts and you need to respond it so that this extension uh, will get to know that how the system is behaving so let me quickly click on start extension it will load in a few seconds now at the bottom you can see that a let is coming and it is asking that bisect is active and it has disabled 46 extension now initially it will disable all the extension and will ask you to see if everything is all right so if you say that okay currently it's all right so i will click on good now now it will go ahead and it will disable 23 extensions and it will ask you whether it is still can you reproduce it or not so you have to say okay good i mean based on your conditions you have to say whether it's good or bad now again you can see that it has divided into two parts okay so now this time only 12 extensions are disabled so you can say okay this is bad so it means now it needs to analyze only those 12 extensions now as i said it again distributed divided those extension into two parts so six are disabled and six are still enabled and point to keep in mind is you can disable this activity or stop this activity anytime by clicking on this stop bisect. So let me say this is bad. I'm just doing it so that I can show you what is the end product of this particular activity. Now it is saying that uh, extension is active and has disabled one extension. Check if you can still reproduce the problem. So I would say no, I'm good this time. okay let's say this is bad and once all the extensions are scanned you will get a pop-up that ex this is done but no extension has been identified this is the problem with the code that's perfectly all right because it totally depends on what kind of options we are choosing let me quickly do it so that we can see another flow of it click this good for now uh, this time i will say this is bad so this is still bad because i want some culprit extension to come up so have patience i need to do this for two three times and that's the reason the extension was saying it is quite annoying this is bad Okay, still let's say this is bad. It's active and has disabled win extension. So we will say good now. Let's see what it does. So now you can see that this time it is saying that it has identified this particular angular extension causing the problem. So it means if you will go ahead and disable this, then your issue may be resolved. So either you can do it manually or you can even use this particular dialog box to do it for you. So I'm not going to do that. But this is the overall idea of how you can fix your bad extension issue in VS Code. If you really enjoyed watching this video, make sure to subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching.